All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Stick War Legacy. So I've been going over the comments, the challenge ideas that you guys have been leaving me, and I'm thinking we need to do a giant skin challenge versus the end boss. So here we go. The last stand, the final battle. All your enemies have joined together. All right, great, great, great. Let's, uh, let's fight them all. When we destroy the statue, something fantastical is going to happen. And look, there's even a volcano exploding in the background. I love it. I really wish you could hide the HUD though. They're sending a volcano spearman out. It's the volcano trap. All right, let's get, let's get our spearton out here. So we've got two of these guys. Now let's move him. Oh. Skirp, skirp. Where's my spearton? There he is. All right, so we're gonna get a few spearton's out to kind of hold the line. It's volcano versus volcano. Brother versus brother. We'll get an archer as well, and that should be able to defend it. But basically the idea here is we're going to use our giants with their respective giant skins to see if it's enough to beat the final boss, which is gonna pop out in a very fantastical way. And I, I just love this level. Some of these levels are just done so very, very good. So right now we're skirmishing it up with the enemy Archidons and Spearsons right now. And they got some sword wrath back there too. It looks like he's holding a bunch of bones in his hand. Sir, that's not gonna be good enough. You know what, I, I think we should mess up their miners a little bit, shouldn't we? And by mess up their miners, <laughs> uh, you know, retreat. <laughs> oh my god, this has to be one of the coolest skins. Look at it. So they're fully upgraded Spearsons, right? And their shields look like it's a meteor from the volcano itself. All right, so at this point, we're gonna want to save up. Now, I chose the volcano skin. Here we go, I'll show you. I've got the volcano Spearton skin, and then I've got the volcano giant skin. It does damage reflect. So these units have damage reflect when they get hit. The archer probably shouldn't be damage reflect, but I wanted these guys to be cheap and these guys to be good. So at this point, we're gonna save up all of our gold for a $1,500 giant. We could honestly overcome the adversity on the field. No, we could overcome the soldiers. His tridents don't look like they're upgraded. Mine do. Very interesting how they have like these demonic looking tridents. I wonder if that is the default. All right, guys, it's just about time to buy our first giant. And there it is. We're gonna, we're gonna summon him to the battlefield and look at this. It's a fully upgraded statue, so we're getting that residual passive income in the background. The eclipse is happening. Mount Vulcan is exploding on Inamorta. You hear those giant footsteps? That, my friend, is a giant. Let's send him. We want all these guys to fight and preferably kind of die on the battlefield. Don't tell my men that. I don't want them to know. I love how the Archons start taking their shots out early. The enemy Spiritans, although they be few in number, they're holding their shields up in a defensive formation to try to protect the miners to their rears. To their rears? <laughs> All right. This seems like a pretty good one. So I guess what we have to do is make sure we get this right here. We go. We're gonna we're gonna send them on defend so that we're not attacking the statue. Hopefully, a, a battle a, a goes out in the. Hey, men, turn around. I, I said attack. Oh, uh, you know, we just had to go up in defensive mode for these guys for no apparent reason whatsoever. That giant is just absolutely kicking butt. You can see the small numbers, and it's kind of hard to keep track of. But the damage reflect means whenever they take a damage, one of the numbers is yellow. Those are the numbers that are going back to the enemies that are attacking them. So these archers in the background are actually taking damage while they're continually attacking. It's actually pretty fantastic. All right, gentlemen. End this battle. It's time to fight the boss. Oh yeah, after after dealing with the reinforcements. But when this statue breaks, and it will soon because we have Archidons attacking it, this is the best part. It's like the coolest part of the campaign. It's like Stick War 2 when Medusa comes out. It's a giant and he smacks him. And you're like, wait, that's just a regular giant. This guy's not that scary, is he? Remember how the giants are always throwing around other giants? Yeah, they're, they're big bullies. Look who it is! The demon. Okay, let's pull let's pull our men back. So that's our full forces attacking the main boss. It doesn't look like this giant is near enough what's necessary to take down the demon knight. So we've got two giants on his way on their way right now. We could probably test out the old uh you know what's the best way to defeat the enemy boss would make a good video. Like I wonder if just spamming Archidens and just like kiting back and forth. Like when he gets close, you, you run away basically. But we've got another giant on his way. 
But the demon giant, the skull giant, he's just... He's massive. He's bigger, two to three times bigger than it, it seems any other giant. I love his helmet. It, it reminds me of the Juggernaut's helmet from Stick War 2. So he did a hundred and something damage. Watch this. 187 damage. Oh my god. We're gonna need two more giants. D he, d he didn't even take down 25% of the health. These poor Spiritans are no match. But basically, one of the things we want to check out is if Griffin the Great, he's going to be the third one we're going to try. We're going to try this, then we're going to try the best giant skin, which is the vampire skin, which I believe is, is life steal. So while you're taking damage, uh, or while you're giving damage rather, you're gaining health. So it's a very interesting dynamic there in that it keeps your units in the game. But I think it's clear to see that this... The fire giant, the lava giants, on their own, are not able to take out the enemy. Yeah, look at this, man. One hit takes down a, a, a quarter. So these giants are probably only going to be able to take four to five hits. Not enough, man. Look at that. We keep sending them out, but honestly, we should just focus on some other numbers. But we know right now that it's just not enough. All right, so we've got this third giant coming out, or... I guess third relative to those on the field, and by third I mean first, because the other two have fallen in combat. <gasps> Gentlemen, flee to the base! Get out of there! Now we sent- oh my god, he, st he did the earthquake and he still killed our dudes. Now we've got the Archidens back here peppering and damaging him, right? I don't think it's gonna be enough. We've got a Spiritan to distract. Yeah, and the earthquake ability, man. Ooh. Archidens probably are the most effective, I'm guessing. But that's not what we're testing here today. So, it's time. Let's go to our armory here. Check out where our upgrades are. Our giants are fully upgraded. That's crazy. Summon Griffin the Great, the leader of all giants from the depths of no man's land. And then there's these units called Americ. Now, we're gonna need a few of those. Now we're trying the vampire skin, and I believe that's like $45 worth. All right, so you guys know the drill. We're saving up for the giant. This time, we're going to have the vampire skins. Now I decided to go out with two leaf soldiers who are a little bit quicker to distract that guy. Oh, you see that small number pop up? Every now and then you'll see like a five. Yeah, the five, that's the damage reflect by the other guy. This is a very effective uh, strategy for Stick War 2, which is just the sword wrath rush. I love using it. So at this point, what we're doing is we're gonna wait for that counterattack to come and we're saving up for our giant. Okay, there's the reinforcements. That's what I was expecting. And there he is. He, he almost looks like he's going to a rock concert or some kind of a rave. And it's like neon lights. Look at that. Three damage from an arrow. Not a lot. But he's going to be backed up by a few Archidens here. And we're going to throw in a Spiritan because there are a lot of Spiritans on the enemy side right there. And we're hoping to win this encounter here. Oh my gosh. This giant hasn't even been touched. He's got a wizard. We probably rushed that counterattack a little bit too quickly here. Yeah, but between the wizard and the giant, they're they're doing a very good job at knocking our men over. And they're actually in our minor line. Is this gonna backfire on me? All right, we've got three giants and it's time to show off just how good the vampiric skins are. Remember, it's the most expensive skin in the game that you can get right now. Uh, it's, it's, it's absurd. The price but they're pretty fun they're cool i don't think it's even the coolest looking skin but i think it's the best skin because you steal back life it keeps you in the battle just a little bit longer look at all those green numbers that's a little bit of health that is returning to our giants but look at what giants do with their earthquake abilities and just like the the shattering force of when they slam the other dead giant that they're just Happen to be carrying around as a weapon. They got a club and they use another giant. It's 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 really kind of funny, honestly. They're savages though. I mean, what are, what are you gonna what do you expect from them? There's one guy. We got the frost archer out there. And there we go. We're finally making headway towards the enemy statue. I can't wait to see Griffin the Great, because I wanna see if one Griffin the Great can kill the enemy boss. One on one, can he do it? Warning, the enemy is called in reinforcements, Baron! Look at my silver spectacles! Now this is normally where your archers would like continue beating down the statue. But this is actually kind of good in that we're dealing with the army first. So we're just gonna keep a steady stream of giants. We're gonna wrap up the rest of this. I think we actually might have a bunch of giants that are gonna be anywhere between no health to full health that are gonna be there to fight the boss if and when 
We finally turn our attentions on the statue. There it is. Oh look, it was a giant in there. The whole time. Oh, oh man, he almost killed that guy. And he's like, just standing there like, not even looking. Look at, look at that guy. He's like, hey man. The volcanoes have all erupted. And there he is. The demon king himself. Skullface. What's his name? What are you gonna call this guy? Yeah, they... <laughs> no unit that was up there was able to do much damage. Okay, so 1v1, uh, unless you count this guy who's like, Hey, I'm gonna mine here, guys. This is prime real estate for gold mining. What? 25 damage is all? Is this a joke? Hold, you know what? I'm doing it now. We're doing it now. Griffin the Great, you have been summoned. Look at Griffin, man. His helmet, it looks like he's from the volcanoes himself. He looks like he's more from the volcanoes than the enemy is. He's got like these glowing magma eyes. Whoops, did not mean to click him. Boom! I don't know, there's something up with this, this enemy here. He doesn't look like he's suffering any real drop in health. Or is this just how it is? Boom! All right, Griffin. Griffin and him seem pretty even. Oh, no. He's doing 75. Oh, and we're doing 50. Yeah, so the enemy does have the edge here. So does Griffin need healers? All right, Griff, we're going to call in some reinforcements, I guess, because... Oh, no, 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 hold on. Let the boys play, right? Let the boys play. Yeah, so three volcanoes exploding in the background. Two giants fighting in the foreground. It's really just kind of chaotic, isn't it? But this is giant versus giant combat. It's really sad. It's, it reminds me of that scene in uh, Game of Thrones when he's like, he was the last of his kind. When uh, the giants attacked the wall, and needless to say, it didn't go very well for them. Let's do a little bit of earthquake. Boom! It doesn't really stun the giant, but did 100 damage. Look at my miners trying to get by. You know what? I'm gonna spawn in a couple of them. <laughs> yeah, this is still going on. I know you guys were like, hey, do you think Baron's still in that giant battle with the other giant? And they both like, why aren't they friends? But instead they're like, hey man, I'm gonna slap you with a dead giant. And then you're like, man, maybe giants are just really mean people. We're gonna get one American here to heal. Let's see if he, if he can do it fast enough. We kind of left it to the end. I think it's safe to say that Griffin cannot take the enemy giant 1v1. But maybe he came with the help of his friends, unless this guy gets slapped. Oh, he's not getting slapped. So how much is he healing? 40. Oh! Whoa, that Merrick just flew. You need a Merrick for the Merrick. It was the Earthquake ability, though. I guess that makes sense. Come on, Merrick. Wow, it really takes you a long time to get to the front lines. All right, we got to time this right. We're, we're spawning in giants. It's, it's not going well. Although, wait. Oh, the Merrick's gone. I was going to say, if the Merrick can stay alive long enough... If you think about the premium, hold on. How much did we just spend right there? Let's go to the shop. So, America's 250 and Griffin is 1,000. So how much are the gems? Um, Griffin's about 10 bucks. And then maybe $3 for the Merrick? Now we may resume combat. But we got, we got these two follow-up giants coming up. So, as our beloved Griffin. Run, Griffin, run! Run! Oh, dodged it. Slap him first. Slap him. Come on, Griffin. Do it. Oh, Griffin is alive. And he's going to get the flank shot. Get the flank shot, Griff. Slap him in the back for the win. 100. Oh, yeah, I guess it's not user controlled. Here, watch. User controlled from the back is like the best way to do insane amounts of damage. Don't kill Griff! Yeah! <laughs> Griffin survived! <laughs> we were a little cheeky. And then this guy's like, oh, hold on, I see you did all the work. Oh, oh, tap, we got a tap! <laughs> it's like this is Sparta, but Leonidas ain't there. Well, guys, there you go. The giants do all the work, and then us men come in here like, hey, thanks for that, by the way. Yeah, that was 12 minutes of uh, watching giants slap each other. So, that is the it answers the question, which giant skin is best for fighting the skull boss? None of them. 
You don't want to fight the skull boss with just giants. It's it's not a good strategy. <laughs> All right, guys, leave your challenges and suggestions in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.